Ah, uh, that intro never gets old. Hello, everybody. This is Paul again. Now, we have moved on from Quest for Glory 3 to Quest for Glory 4, and isn't it magnificent? Jesus Christ. I remember when I first played this game, this is back when, like, Blockbuster actually tried renting. They were renting PC games, like, on CD-ROMs, which is a ridiculous idea, but I think that might have been before piracy was a thing. But here we are, Quest for Glory 4, my favorite game in the series, bar none. Fully voiced, John Rice davies is doing the narration. Hamburger. Everything we've ever done in all of the games now finally come to some sort of climactic head. Um, even though it's not the last game. So let's go ahead. I believe we have Sneaky Feet all ready to go from Quest for Glory 3. After this, any of the first three Quest for Glory. There he is. There's John Rice davies so that your hero can make the journey to quest for glory, Shadows of Darkness. Now, it's said that John Rice davies still calls this CD-ROM like the project from hell, because the technology was still fairly new at that point. So he was, at, he was recording dialogue for like months. Your character has been successfully imported. Yeah. Welcome to Shadows of Darkness. Love it. Now... Here, I can't remember if this happened in the in the last game, but the game was not smart enough to realize that, or there was a bug in the game, that if you upload yourself as like a thief or a paladin or whatever, it would screw up your class. So you have to kind of pretty much say, it's like, okay, now I want to be a paladin, or now I want to be a thief. And of course, you always go paladin because they kick so much ass, but we're going to stay true to the sneaky feet ways. Alright, let's see here. Now... I feel like I've been pretty lax in my grinding because I uploaded myself and like all the stuff that should be like super high like stealth and pick locks and whatever all defaults to 200 which I believe is minimum in this game so if I were to start bare none with sneaky beat here like I, I would have I gained not that much at all really for importing my character from game to game except for a lot of agility vitality and luck and stuff but I do have another hundred points to play around with so let's think. Um, let's see. Yeah, the narration at this point is still a little bit low, so we're, it'll it'll be a little bit better later on. And the text box is gonna pop up. Everything will be good. So let's find out. What what should we do? What should we do? Um, I'm trying to think about what we can do in the game. I know stealth is gonna be important, pick locks, but we can grind that so easy. Acrobatics, um, I think will be important later on as well. But let's stay. You know what? We always just bump up our luck. You know what? Let's just make our let's max out our luck. Yeah, and we'll just see what that does. Everything else, I'm pretty sure I can just grind. But Tebs, let's do it. You awaken from nightmares of flying and falling. You find yourself in this strange place. The only illumination, an eerie green glow. You've lost your weapons and the contents of your backpack somewhere during the journey. All you have are the clothes and armor on your back. This leaves you with four burning questions. Where are you? How did you get here? Who brought you here? And how in blazes can you get out of here? No, make that five burning questions. What city did your luggage end up in this time? Ho, ho, ho. Now, you'll notice... Let me turn the music down a little bit. You'll notice that the game has a very Lovecraftian feel to it. I mean, like, Eldritch everything and whatever. I'm pretty sure this game is all based on, on Lovecraftian lore. Oh! Well, you stumble and fall over the ancient petrified corpse. I don't even As see... As you pick yourself up... Oh. You discover a dagger and some coins on the dried-out dead body. It isn't going to use them anymore, so you take them. Okay, I got points for tripping and falling. Fantastic. Um, now, I remember bits and bobs about this game, so I think we should be in good stead. Um, I do know that we should check all the corpses that are strewn around the room for valuables. 
because, you know, fuck it, they're dead. A brief search reveals a piece of hard gray rock which you take and some coins, three crowns and 13 kopecks. Crowns and kopecks, so that just means I need to exchange my money yet again. Was there anything on this one? You find 30 assorted copper and gold coins on the body. And let's do this. Let's also turn on the text so we can... A little easier for everybody. That didn't do anything. No. That didn't do anything. You know what? I kind of like it better with the text off. If I have trouble understanding it, Tevs. Okay, so we have been transported from Tarna into this chamber of bones, which looks kind of like the elephant graveyard in Lion King. Wonderful. Um, this looks like the way out, so let's go. You know what? As long as we're doing this, let's go ahead and sneak, and we'll turn the speedway up. There we go. Let's get out of here. The valve won't budge. If you had a bit more light, maybe you'd be able to see how to open it. A bit more light. Gotcha. Well, I am uh, rather mystical. Do I have that, like, juggling light spell? Dazzle spell. That'll work. It does not seem to be very effective. Okay. Well, 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 well. Um, these look like torch sconces, but I don't see any torches in them. Are there? No, doesn't appear to be. This torch is firmly embedded in its holder. I don't see a torch. What are you talking about? How about this one? You take the torch. All right. I have a torch, which apparently was lit this entire time. What is this thing, anyway? This is some kind of altar to the Dark One. The Dark One? The top is covered with sand. Torch holders flank the altar to provide light for nameless rites and unspeakable rituals. Okay, you can tell that line was recorded pretty early in development because that really had a lot of power and menace behind it. There's nothing in the torch holder. Oh, well, well, at least now that I have some light, let's see if we can figure out how to get out of here. But I figured maybe there's some more that didn't corpses. That, no, that, no. That, that. How did they get here? The deteriorated corpse has grown partway into the cave wall. Hmm. Well, whatever. Now that we have a torch... That didn't do anything. You. Let's get out of here. The valve won't budge. I have light. That didn't do anything. That did Is it not lit? You light and extinguish the torch in the usual way, but obviously magical since it never seems to burn down. Okay, maybe if I flint rock here. Creating a spark. Okay, let's use a flint on the torch. Okay, apparently now it's lit. It looks lit, alright? Oh, okay, well now you can actually tell. Oh, look at that. Duh. Alright, so let's open the valve. You force the sphincter uh, open with your dagger. Pass oh, please never say forcing the sphincter ever again, John Rice Davies. You've made it into a large chamber. Uh, Stone valves, like the one you just... No, it was a sphincter. Let's not mince words here. I passed through a sphincter. There is a huge stone I'm in this area's ass. Room and an exit to the south. Look, he's got like four sphincters. Jesus Christ, how much food does this thing have to process? Actually, speaking of which, am I in a thing or am I in like a cave? It looks like a mixture of both, which is a little disconcerting. What is this? The rough stone altar is covered with dark stains as of blood long since dried to powder. You feel a creepy, uneasy sensation whenever you pass near it. Hmm. Okay, well apparently this is a place of great evil and I see more corpses! Loot! You're in the heart of the cave. Stone Valve. Oh! They didn't want him to say sphincter again, it looks like. Aha! Uh -huh. Stone-like. Those are sphincters. Maybe John Rice Davies just kind of vetoed saying... That didn't do... There's totally corpses over here. What about this? I could have sworn there was stuff over here. 
I think when you're a fighter, you find a sword over here. That, that. And, oh, let me give you a quick walkthrough about what's going on here. So, yeah, and you'll notice that this game is absolutely gorgeous. The art, the art direction of this is is gorgeous. And you'll, especially when we've reached the result, oh, you'll see your eyes, because no, they're kind of cool. So let's take a look. Um, we got our walk, we got our look, hands, and I do like the icons that are animated, at least in the DOS version. In the Windows version, they're just boring. We got our flapping lips, uh, Dracula talking. We got our normal stuff, we got our run, we got our sneak, we can rest. Take a look at our stats. This is a new one, this is called Acrobatics. A flock of winged oh. creatures emerges from the cave entrance, and they don't look friendly. Okay, well apparently the game does not want me to acrobat. Why would you want to jump there? Oh dear. Why? Okay, well this is the battle system apparently. Oh god, okay, how do I, how do I, how do I thing? Oh, there we go. So I just wait for them. Ow, no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so right click is attack. And then left click is move. Ow! How is this working? I'm almost out of stamina. No, I'm not. In a bitter battle, you were better than the badders. Badders, okay, so those are- You kicked some butt, too. Damn straight I did, because I'm fucking sneaky feet. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, the battle system seems very arcadey, and if I remember, I think you could actually... I'm gonna have to turn the speed down for that, I guess, but... You can actually have it, like, play out on its own, like, strategy, arcade... Almost as a strategy. Just to, to see what that's all about. Maybe it's a little bit more manageable. Let's see if there's anything on the bats. The batter wasn't carrying any valuables. Besides, its body is really gross. Oh, disgusting. Well, can I go through any of these other sphincters? Let me just get my dagger open here and I'll force my ass through. This is not a good place to practice throwing. Okay, apparently not. I'm also poisoned. Oh wait, did I carry anything over from the last game? No, everything I worked so hard to gather is fucking gone. Alright, I stockpiled everything. Fuck. Try as you might, the stone valve will not open. Perhaps this isn't the right time. It's a sphincter. It's totally a sphincter. Okay, new rule. Every single game, every single door in this game is now a sphincter. Alright, what's out here? Oh my. Okay, well, this should be no problem for a rogue like me. The, ro the um, rope is the obvious way to go. Oh, I can test it. Let's just let's test it. You cautiously test the rope before crossing. It feels as though it's firmly anchored on both ends of the chasm. Okay, well, easy enough. Let's see, it looks like I've got plenty of stamina left, which is... No, wait, this is stamina. This is magic, I think? Even though this looks like an hourglass, I'm not sure how that accounts to stamina, so let's go and walk over. Here we go. Oh, Jesus! No, 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 don't hurt, don't hurt, don't hurt, it's, it's gonna get me, it's gonna get... It's, it's fine. You just barely made it across the pit. What the fuck is that? Look, 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 no, oh, it's gone. What the hell? You can see the entrance to a large cave at the bottom of the pit. You catch an occasional glimpse of a horrid, multi-tentacled monster just inside the cave. Hmm. Well, I don't think I'm in any... I, I don't think I could fight it right now, no. And my awesome grappling hook is gone. I had to sacrifice that. Okay, okay, so we found out we lost pretty much everything coming over here. We do have all of our magic spells, though. We still got open, detect magic, trigger, uh, the dazzle spell, let's see, zap, calm, which is very handy, flame dart, fetch, force bolt, levitate, which is a lot of fun, and lightning ball, which I learned from uh, what's her face in the jungle, uh, Jahari? Jahar, Jahar, Jahara? Jahara. All right, whatever. At least we were to cross that that rope this time without falling over in the fetal position. Oh God! You slip through the mouth of the cave just in time to avoid being crushed by its closing jaws. Okay, so apparently that cave was a living thing. Interesting. And who are you, my love? You are alive! Indeed. Only one person has ever walked away from there before. 
Who are you? Apparently she's the hand of the How king. How did you get here? Oh, there are so many questions I want to ask you. But I have to get home quickly. It is so dangerous out at night in Mordavia. The town is due north of here. Be careful. There are many bad things wandering around. Good luck. Oh, by the way, my name is Katrina. I hope we meet again sometime. <laughs> Farewell. I love the voice acting in this game. I like it because, I mean, you can tell it's horribly, horribly compressed because everything is like... <laughs> but it just got so much heart to it, you know? All right, what the hell did I just step out of? The cave mouth looks like the jaws of some horrid creature waiting to chew up and swallow anyone who should be so foolish as to try to enter the cave. Rocks have formed an island within the goo. Goo? The icky, greasy, grimy goo. Icky, greasy, grimy goo. All right, and this looks pretty obvious. I need to take it. So this looks like kind of archway. The icky, greasy. I don't want to see anything more about the icky, greasy, grimy goo. This symbol looks like a six-armed starfish or perhaps like the tentacles of an octopus. You sense a feeling of strange, chaotic power from it. I like it. I'll take it. The six-pointed symbol seems to pulse with energy and comes loose in your hand when you touch it. You have the feeling that you may need this sign, so you carefully store it in your pack. Interesting. And it looks like a little tiara. Hi, like I'm a prince of sneaky feet. So why is this symbol, like, coming loose in my hand? The rest of them are, art, like, etched into the column. This symbol... Looks like a mouth with pursed lips. Hmm. This symbol is a stylized representation of a crossed pair of bones. The archway above the path is inscribed with eight arcane symbols. You recognize seven of them, from Arcania 101, no doubt, as the symbols of blood, bone, breath, essence, heart, the mouth, and the senses. Interesting. The eighth is new to you. It looks a bit like a six-tentacled starfish, or perhaps more like a squished squid. Something about the symbol fascinates and scares you at the same time. Okay, well, we came out of here one little tiara richer. The Dark One Sign. Oh my. Something about this bronze symbol makes your skin crawl. It looks vaguely like a stylized octopus with only six tentacles. Well, it's mine now. And, oh my, look at all the greasy, grimy goo. A pool of sticky, greasy-looking slime dominates this area below the cave. A stream of slimy goo oozes down the right <laughs> side. <and laughs> there should be no limit to how many times that John Rice Davies gets to say the word goo. And I'm sure he relished the opportunity. So let's go ahead and save. Now, let's not look at my inventory. There's nothing we have to worry about in there. Save... I was like, oh, the delete key actually works in this one. Wow. High tick. Greasy. Grimy. Goopy. Goo. Okay. Well, let's go down. The path is dripping with slimy goo. Goo. Having a hard time maintaining your footing on it. Okay. Well. Come on. Oh, it's you. Okay, you know what? I actually went out to kill myself there, because apparently, I guess if you're not agile enough, you just slip right off of there to your death. But because Sneaky Feet is such a badass... a This tall standing stone has been carved, so that the top looks like a squid is perched upon it. Do squids perch? Is that something that squids do? Can I use my other squid on it? The Dark One sign does look a little like the top of this standing stone. So you try touching the sign to the stone. Swished. You feel a resonance between them. Nothing else happens. Hmm. Okay. Can I touch it? The standing stone feels rock solid. No. Okay. Well, whatever. Nothing else we need here, I guess. Can we take some of the goo? That didn't do anything. What's this little thing? You can't reach the bonsai from here. A bonsai bush? The ledge is too slippery for you to climb on it. 
Perhaps you can try something else. What the heck is a bonsai bush doing over here in a puddle of greasy, grimy goo? Um, uh? A delicately crafted bonsai bush looks totally out. He's gonna say it again. Pool, say, say it. Dark, unhealthy looking goo. Goo. Mm, this forest kind of sucks. There's no goo anywhere. Wally, love it. Now say nuclear whistles. God, it's gravity at work. The icky, greasy, grimy goo. 